<laughs> all I can think about is the Reddit Reddit people going after me because I cry so much. But full disclosure, apologize for all of the tears that will be had in this video. Oh, I'm just a very emotional person, you guys. <laughs> I feel everything. This week's just gonna be a really emotional week, and so if you know you watching me cry. Um, if that bothers you, like, please don't watch this video because it's gonna be very emotional for me to make, but it's something that I want to document, and I had my graduation party this weekend, and it was, un it was incredible. It was the most beautiful f celebration ever. Everyone that I love and I care about was there, and we just had such a beautiful time. I, my heart, oh my god, I've never felt so full, um, just being surrounded by so many people that have supported me, and... Um, showed me so much, yeah, love throughout my life, and it was just a really, really beautiful, beautiful weekend. For the last few days, this house has been full of people that I really, really love, and, uh, and now it's empty. You know, it just doesn't feel like home anymore. It's just a lot. It's a big change. It's a big transition, which is good. I'm so excited for this next chapter, and although I'm crying now, like, I'm gonna be very happy. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this clip. I'm gonna cut the clip. I'll talk to you guys when I'm not like this. Wow. End of an era. End, End of, of an, an era. era. I love you so much. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna cry so much. <laughs> I'm so sad. I just had to say goodbye to KG. He is going, um, He's just like, he's going like out of town tonight and he'll be gone tomorrow. And I'm moving tomorrow morning, so let's see him. <laughs> it is 9.32 on Thursday, May 25th. That's important because today is the last night in this house. This is the last night I will be staying here. It is just crazy. I just, of course, wanted to sit down and chat because that's what Rachel always does. This place has been my home. It's not just a house that I rent, like a room that I rent. This has been home. This has been the place that welcomed me from the Bay Area, a place that I felt sheltered and secure and home. It's been home. And now I think that's why it's pretty hard to leave it is just because it does feel so much like home. And I've treated this place like it's been my own for the last four years and this place has just seen so many different things and we have gone through so many different things in this home you guys have seen it all over the last four years you've seen me in that other room i used to live in you've seen my highs and you've seen my lowest lows along with all the memories is all the wonderful people that i've gotten to live with in this house such a cool experience to live with these other people and from all over the place and we've come together and we have created such a warm family here. I'm gonna get so emotional. I am going to miss them so much. They have been my rocks through everything. That's all I have to say. I will be sleeping here tonight. I just wanna thank this place for being such a wonderful place for me for the last four years. And I'm excited that you guys have seen it through and through. Um, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. Good night and good night, home. Okay, the room is empty. Goodbye. I'm leaving this for the person moving in. They bought it off of me. And goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye. Goodbye, house. I love you. Love you. I love you. Goodbye, house. It was nice. Thanks for the last four years. Okay, let's close her up. I know that the compilation of these clips in combination with the audio, the way things have been edited, and even this voiceover is a tad bit dramatic, but editing has always been my form of expression. I could not have predicted the way that I feel right now, the amount of emotions that I've been experiencing over the last few months, but mainly right now, and I'm sure that I will continue to experience over the next few days. I have been happy, I have been sad, I've been frustrated, I've been excited, I've been stressed, I've been eager, I've been anxious. All of this because I'm leaving my role as a medical student to become a resident physician, and that scares the heck out of me. And I would love to just pretend that I am just only excited and ready 
I am absolutely terrified more than anything and I cannot say that I'm ready or that I will ever be ready to enter these shoes. I feel like I have little baby feet and I'm stepping into a, a dad's shoe. Like that's a big shoe to fill and I am terrified and I know that it's going to come with time and I'm going to learn so much and I, I don't know, you guys, I am just terrified. And so living life to the fullest, I never understood what that meant until these last few months. And I have been stretching out my time as much as possible to live life to the absolute fullest and to be happy, hoping that I just start residency with happiness instead of all of these emotions that I'm feeling. And I am just nervous. And I start on Monday and I, don't know how to feel about that. I'm really trying to change my perspective, have a paradigm shift and feel good, only good, but I just can't and I cannot lie to you and tell you that things are all good because I am petrified. <laughs> what does bring me some peace is that I am going to be able to experience this with all of you. And I'm sorry for the more tears that may or may not happen. I'm hoping that I'd stop crying so much. I mean, I thought I would age out of that after being a child, but I really like to experience emotions. I think it's important and I it's what makes us human. If I can shed a tear and experience all of these emotions, I am grateful to be able to do that and to not be ashamed or shy to feel. I know that all of this seems so dramatic and drawn out and, but man, you guys, this is a, just a big deal to me and I have no other way to express that to you. But yes, next week's vlog will be the first vlog of this new chapter and yeah, okay. <laughs> I love you guys, and until next time, take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, continue to work hard, and all of that good stuff. Okay, goodbye. You guys, I just pet a dolphin, and it was so close. And I went in the water, and it was right there. My life was made.